for quite some time now. They have a lab that was cutting edge and that was based on free multi source software. And now we have it, so we can say thank you very much to the Chakra Foundation. Software, free software, software, open software helps us, in fact, to take another leap. Uh, it, takes that, it opens up new access to new information, a whole new range of possibilities. This is a very exciting facility we have in front of us. We will make good use of it in the go of it. Thank you very much indeed. To understand what free software is all about, you need to understand the four freedoms of free software. The first freedom is that you have the freedom to run the software for any purpose. You don't need to ask anybody's permission, pay any fees. The second freedom is the freedom to study and adapt the software. And this requires the source code, of course, and that's what gives rise to the name open source, which is sometimes used. The freedom to study the software is, of course, something which is very useful in an educational institution such as the University of the Western Cape. It means that the output of some of the best software development minds in the world is available for them to study and to learn from. And they're able to take what they learn and use it to adapt the software to new purposes. The third freedom, or freedom two, is the freedom to redistribute copies of the software. You don't need to pay fees to do that, anybody who receives a copy can make a copy of it and pass it on to somebody else without paying any fees, without worrying about any license arrangements or anything. The fourth freedom is that you have the freedom to improve and re-release the source code. It's this freedom to improve and re-release the source code that is of course vitally important, especially for organizations such as UWC who may wish to take software that has been developed elsewhere and adapt it for its own purpose, and of course contribute those adaptations back to the community. 